एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल ट्रबल फ्री इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द परफॉर्मेंस कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ अ डी सी शांड मशीन ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नो वॉट अ डी सी मशीन इज देन वॉट इज दिस डी सी शांड मशीन शांड इज नथिंग बट अ डी सी मशीन इट कुड बी इधर मोटर और इट कुड बी ए जनरेटर इन विच द फील्ड वाइंडिंग इज कनेक्टेड इन पैरल विद द आर्मेचर so the field windings are nothing but what the wires which you have around the poles right so this field winding is connected in parallel connection with the armature if at all this scenario happens then it is called as a dc shunt machine so performance characteristics means in this case how the torque how the current and how the speed of motor will change with respect to the change in each other that means when torque changes what happens to current when current changes what happens to speed when speed changes what happens to torque and all vice versa so how these three are depending on each other is what you understand you will learn in this video okay this is also going to be a very short video guys so yeah let's go first uh, armature torque versus armature current so ta is armature torque ia is armature current armature torque versus armature uh, current so we know that the armature torque is directly proportional to armature current so in case of shunt motor i mean is directly proportional to the uh, phi times what is phi here phi is the magnetic flux okay so armature torque is directly proportional to the flux and current so in case of a shunt motor what happens is magnetic flux is always constant okay so since it is constant you can just get rid of that and you can say ta is directly proportional to ia and when you remove the proportionality constant you know that it is you get a constant uh, when you remove the proportionality you will get a constant which is ta is equal to k times ia so if you look at this what do you remember from general math it looks like a equation of straight line y is equal to mx plus c right okay we don't have c let's say c is equal to 0 c is not I mean c is anyways a constant right so it is similar to y is equal to mx right so usually what does y is equal to mx tell you it is a equation of a straight line in math right so this is also going to be a straight line right straight line means this way so that means if torque increases armature current also will increase this is the relationship between them they both are directly proportional to each other why because flux is constant in case of a shunt motor okay this is torque versus current armature torque versus armature current now let's we have two more scenarios we have three things total right torque current speed so we have seen torque versus current let's see torque versus speed and current versus speed how they will influence each other but one is one thing is clear for us that uh, torque and current are directly proportional to each Next other is n versus ia n is nothing but here speed okay speed versus armature current so we have this equation n is directly proportional to eb divided by 5 eb is nothing but what back emf right and again in case of shunt motor phi is constant the magnetic flux is constant so what this equation will become n is directly proportional to eb eb is nothing but what v minus drop v minus iara right usually in the case of um like you know in the case of dc motors usually ra is very small so you can directly neglect it so if ra is very small then this entire term will be like if if ra is itself is very small ra multiplied with ia will also be a smaller value right so you can neglect it and you can say eb is equal to v that means here what you can say that the speed is constant right and also in rare cases you might consider this ra but in most of the practical cases it is always constant in case of um uh, you know motors it is we always call it as a constant speed because the speed will not change okay so if you have a graph between ia and the speed so it will be the same it will be constant except after like you know as current is it if it is if it increases a lot then you will see a little bit of dip why because ia into ra right ia is also having a role so that is why if ia is increasing a lot if ia is a very higher value then you will notice a very small dip otherwise it will be constant only okay this is about speed versus ia 
नेक्स्ट इज स्पीड वर्सेस टी ए ओके सो दिस इज टी ए गाइस स्पीड वर्सेस आर्मेचर टॉर्क सो फ्रॉम केस वन एंड केस टू व्हाट यू कैन से करंट इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू टॉर्क एंड द द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन करंट एंड स्पीड इज लाइक दिस सो ऑब्वियसली द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द टॉर्क एंड स्पीड ऑल्सो विल बी द सेम राइट सो सेम इवन द सेम वर्क फॉर टॉर्क एज वेल द टॉर्क इज इंक्रीजिंग then speed is mostly constant but in case if it is increasing a lot if the value of torque is becoming very high then you will see a small dip in the speed of the motor okay so yeah that's all for this video so in case of dc motors how uh, speed torque uh, current how all these will depend on each other is the video so yeah that's all for this video guys and if you have any questions let me know in the comment section I hope uh, you guys understood this video and uh, yeah let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic and if you have any video recommendations for me also just let me know that in the comment section and yeah thanks for watching the video till the end let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic bye bye